Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another Pep Nail Vibes review. I have their Halloween trio. I realize this video is going up after Halloween. However, these are still available. I just checked on the website and actually one of them is uh, on sale for $6. The other ones are going to be priced at $8, but there is one in here and I'll talk about it when I get to it. It is priced at $6. So these are available on the Pep Nail Vibes website. And I think that's it. Let's get started. First up is Crossbones, and this is described as a white curly base with neon pink and lavender hex glitters and pink skull and crossbone glitters. I got this one opaque in two coats. It is a two to three coater depending on your application. This does have a thicker kind of jelly type of formula. It's not difficult to work with. It's just much thicker and I do think that I need to give myself more time between each coat to let each coat dry. This is going to need some top coat to smooth out those glitters and add some shine and because of those glitters it is going to be difficult to remove. There are some of those really chunky uh, skull and crossbone glitters in here. They weren't hard to get out. They are actually fairly easy to get out but they were also really easy to avoid. So if you don't like those but you like the other aspects of this polish you can avoid those bigger glitters easily. Up is Polish Brew and this is described as a purple pink base with purple green gold and copper Halloween colored glitters. I got this one opaque in two coats. It does need co top coat to smooth things out and add some shine. This has that same kind of thicker jelly. I know this is a crelly but it feels like a thicker jelly type of formula. The removal is going to be difficult once again because of those glitters and actually this is the one that's available for six dollars right now. And the last one is Fright Fest. This is described as a white curly base with orange, green, and purple neon hex glitters, orange and purple micro glitters, and black bat glitters. I got this one opaque in two coats. I got this one opaque in three coats. It is going to need top coat to smooth things out and add some shine. Removal will be difficult because of the glitter. Again, this does have a thicker type of formula. Those black bat glitters are a plenty in my bottle. They were very easy to top my nails with. Those bat... Those black... Those bat glitters were a plenty in my bottle, so they were easy for me to get out and apply to my nail. But once again, because they are that type of extra large... But once again, because they are one of those... But once again... Because they are so large, they're also really easy to avoid and to take off of your brush. So if, if you don't like them, you can avoid those as well. My favorite of the bunch is Crossbones. This is just so stinging cute. I think you can wear it any time of the year. Just avoid the skull and crossbone glitters. I'm not one for skulls, uh, but this is actually really cute. It's actually a really cute polish. I actually envision this in a stamping mini just by avoiding the skull and crossbone glitters. That's something that I might do. I don't have a look yet in my mind, but it just seems to fit in so well for something like that. You know what I mean? So this one is definitely my favorite. I'm going to leave all the information information for pep nail vibes and where you can pick these up in the description box down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!